The number of electric cars on British roads has grown from 3,000 in 2012 to 130,000 in 2017. And in another five years, that's estimated to hit one million. Make no mistake, the EV revolution is coming, whether we like it or not. Plans are already afoot to cast out diesel and petrol engine older vehicles from city centres. The other thing is, the government has said it firmly intends to ban the production of fossil fuel powered cars totally. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the combustion engine. But for most of our everyday journeys, where comfort, cost and practicality is the priority, electric cars make a compelling argument. There is somebody that I know of who doesn't quite agree with what I'm saying, and he's one of my fifth gear colleagues. He stood next to me. It's Jimmy DeVille. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> That's a lovely introduction. <laughs> The problem, as I see it with electric cars, it's those batteries. Johnny, I wouldn't have got here to this lovely bubble museum if I was going electric. Yeah, you would. Amongst other things, Jimmy thinks electric cars have limited range, so I'm out to convince him that they truly work, and I'm starting here at the Bubble Car Museum. What are we doing at the Bubble Car Museum? Well, the reason why I brought you to such an obscure museum is just because my old car is actually here, which got me into electrification. In 2016, this 1974 Enfield powered me to an electric car quarter-mile world record of 9.86 seconds. It's faster than a Veyron. That's incredible. But how long does this run for? Um, I've done 40 miles in it on one charge. Exactly, Johnny. We're back to my battery issue. Electric cars have rubbish range. But I reckon I had a solution, and it was parked outside. If this couldn't convert Jimmy, nothing could. This is the new Jaguar I-Pace. Prices start at £63,000, which sounds expensive compared to Jaguar's petrol equivalent, the F-Pace, which costs from forty-two grand. However, the I-Pace's nearest upmarket EV rival, the Tesla Model X, starts at eighty grand. So, first impressions. Right, what I am going to say about this car, forgetting my concerns and fears on the whole electrical thing yeah this interior yeah for me is a triumph it seems the interior had won jimmy over but i knew it wouldn't be long before he started banging on about range again we've got just under 400 horsepower and how long is this 400 horsepower going to be available to us well, uh, it has a theoretical... 298 miles. 298 miles. And theoretical. Theoretical. And what I would say is expect in the real world this to be about 230, 240. It really isn't as bad as I thought it could be. In fact, only the Tesla comes close in this SUV EV category when it comes to range. However, a petrol F-Pace would still get you a further 250 miles down the road. Now, what about charging the thing? Why have you got your phone out? Because all of these work mostly off apps. You know that bit a minute ago, we were talking about you starting to convert me? Yeah. This faff now... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's starting to wane again. And I had another issue. It seems a 7.2 kilowatt charger like this will only give the car an extra 20 miles of range per hour of charging and costs £2.50 for the privilege. That's almost the same cost per mile as petrol. I'm going to start charging. But most of your recharging will take place at home, where you'll only pay £13 for a full charge. And that works out at less than half the cost of petrol. Plus, there are now around 1,450 kilowatt chargers dotted around the country, which will recharge this car to 80% in just 60 minutes. With lunch over, it was time to get Jimmy behind the wheel. This is exciting, cos... Your first full electric car driving experience. Yeah. And guess what he wanted to do first? Holy... Yes! Once he was behind the wheel, then we really started to see a change in Mr DeVille. The, the face changed. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Electric cars, where have you been? In fact, this Jag has a whopping 696 newton metres of torque and it can get to 62 in 4.8 seconds. A typical F pace will be around two seconds slower. The addiction of the instant throttle and the torque, I can totally see it all coming into place. 
I wanted to absolutely hate it and say it was rubbish, it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do, but it does more than I wanted it to do and it felt as good as any other Jag I've ever driven. Dave said that these electric motors are 96% efficient. Well, you know, what's the most efficient combustion car engine probably achieving? In your 30s. And that's using 100 years of know-how. Yeah. You know what, I wanted to hate absolutely everything about today, but after driving the car, there is no question in my mind that it is extremely well executed. And everything I had to listen to Johnny Smith babbling on about, he's got some incredible points. This car and the whole EV revolution, it is all about taking the driving experience in a new direction. And if we embrace this with cars like this, it's gonna be a future I wanna be a part of. Oh, my God.